Well, our next guest is a doctor of physical therapy, holistic health, and fitness coach. And this segment will definitely cool you off. While he shares the benefits of cold immersion, we welcome Dr. Chad Walding back to Virginia this morning. Dr. Chad, good morning. Good morning, Bill. How are you doing today? I am doing great. I see that big cooler full of ice water there next to you. Uh, I don't see any brews in there, so I'm guessing that's not what it's for. Uh, cold immersion. All right. This year, we've all learned a lot about our immune systems. I mean, I just feel like we've been taking an immersion course in immune systems. You're saying that doing this actually helps your immune system, which I wouldn't have put, I would have thought it was a muscle thing, because I see the, the NFL players doing it all the time. Yeah, they do it for recovery, but it's fantastic for your immune system because it's, it's improving your body's ability to handle stress. In our modern world, you know, we like everything nice and comfortable between 66 degrees and 75 degrees, but our native ancestors, they would expose themselves to extreme temperatures all the time. So we've lost a lot of resiliency and in doing so, it's negatively impacting our immune system. So you can use cold water immersion to actually improve that. Just like you go to the gym to get stronger muscles, you can do the same thing with your immune system. And what is the, uh, I always heard that cold, ice water is colder than actual ice but for cooling purposes. What is the temperature of the water in that cooler there? So let's see, this right here, I've got my gauge where it's 36 degrees right now. Wow. So, so yeah. if you're doing this for the first time, do you just get it cold and do you work up to that or do you just go right in uh, super cold? So for most people, this is not the place to start. For most people, the place to start is in your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All yeah. Right. Start with hot water and then turn it over to the coldest water you can for 30 seconds and then go back to hot water and then build that over time. That's the way you want to start. All right. Well, uh, they're telling me we need you in there to see your reaction. You've done this before, I guess, right? I've done it before, but I've never done it on live TV, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Get it as calm as I can. All right. Woo. Here goes my chair. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Can you talk? I can talk. The key is to be nice and relaxed. Being really calm and using your breath. So a lot of amazing things are happening in here. My body's having to adapt to this cold temperature. So my metabolism is speeding up. So it's great for improving uh, your fat burning capacity. It's great for improving your mood, your alertness. Like I mentioned, your immune system. It's also great for reducing inflammation. And it's fantastic for your heart health, for improving circulation in your body. But the key is just relaxing. I can't believe you're that relaxed. Obviously, you've done this before because I would be, ah, ah, you know, you're hyperventilating and the whole thing. But you, you say you, you actually work on your breathing as you're doing this. Yeah, working on our breathing. And, and really, the other thing we're training here is not just physical resiliency. It's mental resiliency. You know, so the, like you mentioned, there's two ways I could get in here. I could get in here and panic and, like, take my shoulders and cl clench my face. But really the key when you're exposing yourself to cold temperatures as best you can, try to relax, try to breathe. And that's where that real change of you learning how to adapt and hold stress really begins to improve. And the carryover that that has over to every aspect of your life is really profound. I am just ama I'm just amazed. I, I, when I see the NFL guys do it all the time, and they do it all, every day, I guess, and I always wonder, how long did it take them to get used to doing that? And, and, but we have a guest later talking about mental toughness on our show all the time, and it is, it's, it's mostly up here, isn't it? It's all in your head. Yeah, it's all in your head. So the same thing happens in the real world when stressful situations happen. Just learn to breathe, just learn to relax, and you think more clear, more alert. Everything becomes a, a lot easier at that point rather than suffering and, and fighting. All right. Inflammation is, is a big part of this. Um, like we said, the immune system. Um, obviously, your mental toughness has got to be there because you've got to talk yourself into relaxing a little bit and not tense up. What happens when people do tense up, though? Does it help at all then, or you've got to let it kind of go? You're still, you're still benefiting, um, but, but you're not really training the mind as well as you could. 
So over time, you really learned that you, you, you got two choices. You can fight or you can, you can learn to surrender. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, all right, so we, I want to backtrack real quick to the beginning, and you said, don't start with this. Start with, in the shower by getting the water as cold as you can stand it for how long? 30 seconds, maybe? Start with 30 seconds, yes. Yeah. Start with hot, then go to a cold, uh -huh. 30 seconds, then go back to hot. And over time, you add a little 15 seconds every day. And uh, you've stayed in there a couple of minutes for us. Normally, how long do you stay in there? Normally, I do about three minutes. How yeah. long? Three minutes every day. Three. Okay. Well, you're yeah. getting close to your limit at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, last question, and this one's most important to me. How long before your feet get warm again? <laughs> it, you know, for me, it takes me about, about 10 minutes, and I'm back to normal. And I know that proves over time. Yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes. It'll take me two days. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. That looks like it's just... I. My brain won't handle that. Thank you for the demonstration, Dr. Chad. For more information, we'll post the link on our show website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com slash VTM. Gosh, Jessica, what, can you even imagine? I, I like when I go outside, my feet get cold. It takes me, you know, 45 minutes before those dogs warm back up again. I can't even imagine that. So in the summertime, what I like to do, like, okay, I take a scalding hot shower. Like that's my jam. I love a hot shower, yeah. but then at the end in the summertime, cause you get hot, it's not pleasant to like sweat when you're showering. Yeah. So then at the end, I'll like crank it over to as cold as I can tolerate. And I mean, that's just bath water. That's not an ice bath, but it really does energize you so much. So I wonder, I don't know. I, I don't know. Chad seemed so calm, so collected. <laughs> yeah, it would energize me to be like, ah! <laughs> that would be the energy. That's where all the energy would go into the, the reaction. And yeah. uh, 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 to be able to stay that calm. And like I said, you know, I, you see the NFL guys do it all. Uh, our own Richmond, Virginia native Russell Wilson did a commercial with it the whole time. And he's talking and delivering whatever copy points he was delivering. And I'm going, like, that's pretty good. But he's practiced it a lot. I think Dr. Chad's done this a couple of times. Well, maybe it's like the version of, um, what do they call it, HIIT, the high intensity interval training, where you're sort of training your body to go from uh, the, it, it, like to accept that mega cold. So it sort of like is a workout at the same time. I don't know. There's so many more questions. I think we have to get Chad back to do another dunk. I, Did I'll you ask him it, that? Like I'll how long do you August. sit out? To <laughs> August. <laughs> okay, we'll check back in in the summertime to okay. see what the dunk schedule is then and the benefits <laughs> of an ice bath in the heat of the dog days of summer. Yeah. Wow. Stay tuned. There's still much more in store. we got a cool show for you here on Virginia This Morning. We'll be right back in three minutes.